Hey guys! We are back, and today we are doing a Q&A with... I like turtles! Adrian and Tori. Today you will be getting to know us on a personal level, and we will be answering your questions. Alright, ready? Question uno. How long have we been dating? Seven months. As of right now. As of... As of... August 5th. <laughs> <laughs> Seven okay. months. Next. Number two. Number two. What does it feel like being TikTok famous? In my opinion, we don't feel like we're TikTok famous. We're... We just post out a bunch of content. We're just recognized everywhere we go. I mean, I don't, we don't really feel like we're famous, you know? Yeah, it's kinda, not feel like it at all. I mean, it's cool to, like, people that know your name, like, outside of the oh world. Oh my god, are you, you know? on TikTok? Oh my gosh, yeah, exactly, but... But... I mean, not really. Okay. Question three. How do your parents feel about your relationship? My parents are good with it. They actually like Tori a lot. Well, Tori's my first girlfriend, but... Yeah, they like they like, they like her a lot. My parents like it too, except they don't like that we don't make more videos with each other, so that's about mm -hmm. it. Question four. Do your friends and teammates still comment on your post? Have you lost friends? Um, I've lost some friends just because they like feel like weird that I'm like kind of bigger now, so they kind of like cool off from it. Um, my friends, I, yeah, I, I've most of our comments are like TikTok followers. I follow us on Instagram, but yeah, mo my friends comment all the time. Like they so full around, you know, in our comment section. But it's, it's, well, they make fun of him. That's well, they make fun of us, but that's like the guy thing. Like we just like we make fun of each other, and that's like you know we're cool with that. Our next question: Do people you know throw shade on you now? Well, me, no. They just at first they were like. Why are you doing TikToks with your girlfriend? That's kind of lame. I was like, I didn't care what they said. I was just like being with Tori. I just like being with her, hanging out with her. If she wanted, I, I didn't like TikTok at first, but no, I didn't. I didn't. They don't throw shit on me, especially how, like, how far we've succeeded in this TikTok thing. They actually like it. Like, oh, I mean, they kind of make fun of us. Like, oh, that was a TikTok couple, you know. And it, I mean, it gets annoying at some points, but no, it's not. They don't throw shade like negative things on me. I would say. Okay, next question. <laughs> Um, favorite things about each other? Favorite thing about him that I like is his smile. Look, he's always <laughs> smiling. He's super giggly and he's really ticklish. <laughs> Stop. So, like that. My favorite thing about Tori is her personality. She's like one of a kind. You don't, you don't. Girls oh, like I her. Just geeked. Girls like her are like rare. You know, like she's. She's kind, she's sweet. I, I, you don't really see her mad. You know, that's the cool thing about her. But, I mean, unless you make her mad. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. If you go back to a time before TikTok famous, would you? Uh, no. Uh, where we are right now is pretty good. I mean, not just because of TikTok, but like even with me and you, we were okay. Even with or without, with or without TikTok, we were the same. We had a good relationship. We had everything good. I honestly feel the same, so probably not, because <laughs> I like the attention we get. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Uh, best and worst part about being an influencer? Best part? Meeting cute little girls coming up to you all the time. That's true. Worst part? Even when you're super, super tired and sick, you still always need to be putting content out so you don't lose followers or people lose interest that you don't post every day, so probably that. It's pretty cool because a lot of people DM us and ask for like advice, like soccer tips or like relationship advice. And it's honestly, it's, it's good sometimes, you know, I don't, we, we'd love giving that advice like that. But um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's part of the best part and the worst part, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't have a worst part to be honest, everything's fine. You know, it's cool. Next question. Do people DM you a lot? Why is it hard to DM people back? We get so many DMs today. Probably like, like 40. 
50-ish. And, like, it's hard to DM people back because we'll DM them back, thank you, oh my god, we love you, like, you're so sweet. But then they'll respond. So it's like once you get 50 and then they respond and it's like 100 and then they get so excited and yeah, it's basically true. it stacks on. No, yeah, and especially when they when they reply, it like doubles it because, you know, they want to continue the conversation, but I mean, it's not a bad thing, I'm just saying it's like, you know, it just keeps stacking. It just takes, it's just, it's just a lot of time consuming, you know, it just takes a while to do it, but no, we like it. Next question. How long have we both been playing soccer? I've been playing soccer for 15 years. Because I started when I was 3 and I'm 18 now. 9, almost 10 years. <laughs> for me, when I was 7. So, yeah. Next question. What are we doing when we hang out at home? When we hang out at home, we usually make TikToks. We cook a lot. We, uh, I cook a lot. we clean. We're always cleaning. We hang out with my dogs. <laughs> yeah, we're usually like planning our next YouTube video or thinking about it. TikToks is the fun part. Yeah. Hopping together. I know if it's at night, we watch movies, you know. Lazy. Popcorn. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You know, it's kind of lazy. <laughs> it's summer though. Okay, next one. Does it take daily planning to do videos? Mm, it depends on what we're doing next, but for TikTok, it doesn't taste like a TikTok. It's probably our fastest. Like we just be scrolling to the for you page, oh, we, and we find a good dance, and then we'll just be we'll copy it or change it, and it's really fast and quick. But YouTube, it's like, you know, we gotta plan it. What time we have to do this? You know, what time of the day or the week? Yeah, that does yeah. take longer editing. Yeah, <gasps> that too. So YouTube is yeah. more like, you know, that's for planning and stuff. TikTok's just like right away. Okay. okay, favorite thing to do? With each other? Yeah. Or just, yeah. just personal? Thing? Yeah. With each other? Well, obviously, make TikToks. That's like the number one thing to do. False. We like going to boba places and trying bubble tea, which is tapioca pearls in tea flavored teas. Yeah, we go everywhere. And like, flavored teas. there's bubble tea teas. Like, tea. there's a few places around us, and then we'll drive all the way to. We'll drive like 15 miles just to get one bubble place. So we can try new, so we can try new places. Maybe they're coming soon. <laughs> and then, well, play soccer when we have time. Yeah. Watch movies together. Any pets? I have three dogs. Well, two rats. Well, they're just, they look like rats, so I call them rats. I got an Australian Shepherd named Memphis. Cute. And then I got two teacup chihuahuas that are like this big, you know. And they're, those are my rats. I have two of them. Well, those I are my three dogs. Have two poodles. One is in the thumbnail, and the other one is weird. But I have two poodles. They're both white, and one's named Bear, and the other is Lola. <laughs> so yeah. Next thing. What position do we play in soccer? Ooh. Okay. And gr playing club soccer, I've always played. Striker, the number nine, the top. And then once I became a, a freshman in high school, the soccer coach um, put me at attacking mid in midfield. And I've stuck with midfield all through high school. And I even played in club sometimes. And my coach liked me at attacking mid better than striker. Because I was small. I was like, I was like what, five, seven. So strikers, I had my high school with like six, four, and these guys were huge, but I, mean, I couldn't compete. But as a midfielder, I was good. And like, and so I've always stuck with number 10 as the midfielder. So for me, midfield is my preferred position. Okay, so two years ago, I played wing and forward. And then last year, I played left back. And then this year, I've decided to stay at holding mid. Different position, but I got offered a scholarship as a holding mid, so that's kind of where I am. <laughs> okay. Any regrets? I mean, regrets. I like turtles. Regrets? My, uh, not really, but my only, I have one. One regret is not focusing slash trying my freshman and sophomore year in school. I, once I entered high school, I, I, you know, senior I just hit me really, really, really. I just didn't care about my grades. You know, I made a soccer team, so I thought, like, like that's all I was focusing on. 
but like my grades were like like B's, C's. Like I didn't really focus on that. I I didn't really care about it. You know, I didn't think it was. I mean, it's important, but I didn't at that time. I didn't really care about it. And then once I hit junior year and senior year, I was like, oh wow, I messed up really bad. You know, but uh, I'm in a college. It didn't affect me, but you know, that's the only part I really care about. I regret. But yeah. Um, I think I regret putting too much time and effort into some of the wrong friendships that ended up getting me stabbed in the back. Who who are your favorite TikTok people besides each other? Peach Steger, Jordan Beckham. I have a good guy. This is one guy that I started once I. Oh. Joe Albanese. This guy's hilarious. He jumps on over chairs and on like Legos and stuff. This guy jumps on like the splits on Legos and it's just so funny, like so entertaining. Hilarious. That's one of my first guys I've ever followed on TikTok. But yeah, I've always stuck with him. It's really funny. Favorite okay. thing about Georgia? Mmm. I don't know. Music, Midtown. Making video, <laughs> video, video, video. So many videos. Uh, I don't really have a good thing about Georgia. I kind of hate Georgia's weather and it's bipolar, but that's all for me. Hey, at least you really. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what's your favorite Oreo? Double stuff. I like regular Oreos, like people people want, like the mint, oh it's disgusting. The Mint's is my second so favorite. Bad. I just like regular Oreos, that's mm. all. If you can meet one person in the world, who would it be? Um, my great grandmother. My mom, my, she died when I was two months old, but my mom told me she was like, she was such like a good mom to my grandma and she was just a really nice lady to be around with. Yeah, I want to meet Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. Oh. If you're watching this... Okay, Mia Hamm or Marta? Marta... I'm boing, boing, boing! I'm Three sixers. I'm gonna stick with Marta because that's the only girl. I mean, that's the only girl. I don't know who the other one is, but Marta's pretty good, so... Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Sure. Ronaldo. <sighs> Messi. 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 See him in the magazines? Yeah. Oh my. Okay, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's funnier? Ha 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 ha. Me. Very funny. Look me in the face. I'm funnier. It's all, it's obviously me. Next question. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Mm, me. I did. But you love me for the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> What's one thing about each other that annoys you? <laughs> I got a whole list, bro. I, I can write you a five pack paragraph essay right now. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if it's just one thing, but the one thing that I notice when she does is when she ignores me. Like she'll be sitting on her phone and you would be asking her a question and it's just, there's no response. And I'm like, how long am I going to sit here until I hear her or, you know, until she hears my question. Or when, um, when she touches my face, which has to pop my pimples. <laughs> so annoying, it hurts so bad. Um, biggest pet peeve is when he is his own barber and decides to cut his hair in my sink and <laughs> all over my bathroom counter so there's just black hair everywhere because he just sits in the mirror and goes no. Puts it in my sink. I think I just got some hair on me. Disgusting. Whoops. Mm, who's your favorite soccer player? Uh, Ronaldinho. Tobin. Ronaldinho was 
An absolute G. Beast. Favorite go to snack? Nutella. Where's my jar? Where's my jar? Uh, Nutella's so good. Uh, there it is. Look at this. I always keep a jar of Nutella and I just keep it in my car. And I he just, just puts his finger in and then goes. I just eat it. It's so good. Favorite go to snack is probably cheese or. Shoot, I don't even know where. <laughs> Dream vacation. Dream vacation is Bora Bora. Oh yeah. We both decided Bora that. Bora or somewhere in the Caribbean. Really nice. Or Los Angeles. Cali? Yeah. Mm. Give me my dog. No, my dog. He likes me more. I know. <laughs> Give me, no, you're just, so just, mean. Just for a little bit. Mm. You always tell me to love him. I love him. No, you love him on the camera, you love him. Fake. Oh, whatever. Mm. What was our first date like? We went to see a movie on Halloween. It was Halloween. It was to watch the movie Halloween on Halloween. And that was our first, that was our first date. Do you ever miss your piracy before you became famous? No. Mm, not really. Cause it was boring back then. Now we just spark and and a reason to get up in the morning. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like it's, it's it's the same. It's just you just gotta know what to put out there in the social media world. Cause once it's out there, it's out there. All right, guys. This is our last question for each other. Like our own personal questions to each other. If you could change anything in the world, what would you change? I would change, I would like to end all animal abuse. Like dogs, cats, every animal. Save the turtles. Yeah, save the turtles. <laughs> this is right. <laughs> no, all animals are loving and caring. So you should love them all like how I love her. Oh, <laughs> Alright, my question. It's the same question. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Well, since over half the population's marital status ends in divorce, I wish everyone could get the chance of having a great relationship, great guy, with no abuse or anything that harms you mentally, physically, you know. So yeah, being with a guy like that. <laughs> mm. All right guys, thanks for queuing in to our um... Queuing in? <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, thank you for watching our video. Hope you liked it. Make sure to like this video, comment your thoughts or ideas of what we should do in our next video. Make sure to subscribe and Turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.